What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sus Accord, the Renewed Space, bringing some more Dragon Ball Fighters ranked matches and running the Android 42 team. And I figured I might as well play Lap Cook because I'm probably going to talk about her quite a bit in this video, at least here at the start. Because basically, as we all know, Lab Coat 21 is far and away the best character in the game right now. She's incredibly strong and to me, really cool and a ton of fun. And I'm actually one of the few people that was really <laughs> excited for her to release uh, when she originally got announced. Um, I mean, as, as you guys will know, I, I love the, the Lab Coat 21 design. And actually, when the game came out, I was slightly disappointed, only slightly though, that the version of 21 that ended up being playable in the game was actually... Uh, the Majin 21 and not the Lab Coat 21 because I actually preferred this design. Now, of course, I love Majin 21 as well, but I digress. Um, the point is, nice break. Anyway, the point is, this character is incredibly powerful, incredibly top tier, and is one of the most powerful characters the game has ever seen. And right now, I mean, she's just leagues above every other character. Now. This is not the only time in Dragon Ball Fighters history, and especially not in fighting game history, where there has been a character that is, well, top tier or very strong, or even considered broken and just the best in the game. Um, but as it pertains to DBFZ specifically, specifically, uh, there's been a lot of talk about banning this character. And I haven't really like weighed in on it myself and talked about how I feel or whether or not the character should be banned or whatever. And I figure why not do it now, specifically because I couldn't really remember the combo I wanted to do there. As you guys know, I haven't actually been playing this character a ton, as much as I want to, despite the fact that I like her so much. As I'm steamrolling Miku Naka, which by the way, Miku, best girl, shout out Quin uh, Quintus Tokodopolis, the vibes, anyway. Um, combo Breaker is happening just a month from now, right? Uh, it'll be a major tournament held in Chicago. I thought he was going to backdash. Why did you... What? You know that move's not plus, right? You know it was your turn, right? He reflected as if... Whoops. As if it was, uh... My turn. Um, it definitely was not. It's going to be us taking the first game very convincingly, by the way. <laughs> anyway, I'm like really choppy with what I'm trying to say because I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. When I really didn't need to be focusing as hard as I was considering how badly I was beating him. But the point is, basically, Lab Coat 21, best character in the game, top tier, strongest by far, etc, etc. You already know all that. And a lot of people are talking about banning the character. Now, Sonic Fox made a tweet uh, about a month or two ago talking about, you know, as much as I enjoy this character, we should consider banning her. And this isn't the first time they've done that either. Sonic Fox also recommended banning GT Goku back in Season 2. If you guys were around back then, you guys remember the controversy surrounding GT Goku, which, by the way, is powerful. And as, and as common as GT Goku was, I don't think GT Goku is even top five strongest characters in the history of DBFZ. Like, in considering all patches and all time, I don't think GT Goku even cracks top, uh, cracks top five. And frankly, for the record, I find it extremely annoying and just tiring that people constantly compare characters to GT Goku. But I, I guess it's because a lot of you guys weren't here in season one, and you don't really know how cracked uh, this game was and the characters uh, in it were because. Season 1 had shit that was way, way, way better than GT Goku, okay? <laughs> but I digress. Um, so, Combo Breaker actually tweeted out that they are considering banning the character. Obviously, this is after Sonic Fox talked about potentially banning the character. Uh, just the other day, Bum, as you guys know, uh, Bum163, the guy who regularly runs the CMA event that I enter all the time online, as well as the House of Chaos, and actually run Bum's Birthday Bash, which is, you know, the tournament for his birthday. Um, he ran a tournament just uh, yesterday, I think, as of this recording where he uh, actually banned Lab Coat 21 just to, just to get players a feel for it, their opinion, just to see how things ran. And basically, everyone really liked it and enjoyed it. He preferred it that way. Obviously, the tournament ran a lot faster because with 21's debuff, it slows things down even more, which is interesting and very ironic to me because they talked about before in the past about wanting to speed up the game uh, so that matches don't take so long because one of the things that DBFZ is notorious and infamous for is the fact that our matches take a very long time. Obviously, top eights for DBFZ can take two, three hours, you know what I'm saying? This shit's kind of crazy. Um, and ever since they made that statement, they have actively done things that continuously make the game go by slower and slower. And I just really don't understand it. Now, that being said, on one hand, it's kind of like a bit of a double-edged sword, though, because the debuff for me... <laughs> as a benefit in some scenarios because just, just in, in one specific instance there's there's a, a point where i'm grateful for the debuff and it's because of limit break i always thought limit break was a very stupid change and, and the debuff kind of counters that but in, in, still like i said it, it's, it's counterproductive to the point of wanting to speed the game up um it just it just doesn't work out so anyway yeah just 
basically major tournaments are talking about banning the character locals have you know tried banning the character some people feel very strongly about it one way or the other i don't feel very strongly about it one way or the other if you want my honest opinion i say let it rock we've dealt with so much over the game's lifespan and there's been so many other things like in other games and even in this game alone um you know that were potentially quote unquote ban worthy and then it just, it just never got banned i also don't like the precedent that it sets for banning a character because now anytime a character comes along or something pops up where somebody's like this is very strong or people don't like some shit they'll talk about banning it um i i just don't like that precedent or whatever but yeah i don't know if it's up to me i say don't ban her but obviously i'm also biased because i play the character i like the character but i'd be just fine without her it's not like i've suddenly started doing significantly better in games or anything like that or uh you know winning any tournaments because i started playing this character since she came out oh shit i fucked that up um but um and I'd be perfectly content just going back to playing base Vegeta 21 and Trunks if I want to play a top tier strong team or even just my 18 Bardock Trunks team just because I love that team a lot. But um, yeah, like I won't be upset if she gets banned, but a lot of people are because I saw a very strong reaction from a lot of players um, on both sides of the fence when Bum ran his tournament that had her banned where a lot of people were like, oh, this is bullshit, it's so whack, it's so corny, just let the character rock, blah, 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 it's not that big a deal, y'all are soft, y'all are... Everything is ordinary. That rich guy, thank you for seven months. Welcome back to the Oscar Core Club, man. I greatly appreciate it. You don't know that I'm recording right now, but he just randomly resubbed to the channel. And uh, if you don't already follow the Twitch, by the way, link is always in the description down below. Twitch.tv slash Oscar Core. We stream a lot over there. Lots of DBFZ, uh, Guilty Gear Strive, uh, Persona 5 Arena, or Persona 5 Arena. We wish. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, uh, Monster Hunter Rise, which, by the way, Sunbreak on the way. Looking forward to that a lot. Getting back on the Monster Hunter grind for Sunbreak specifically. Uh, Probably gonna be playing through Persona 5 Royal on stream soon. But yeah, you said you had one camp where people were like outraged, like this is corny, this is whack, y'all are soft, blah blah blah. She shouldn't be banned. And the other people are like, thank God, fuck this character, hate her, etc. etc. Yada yada yada. And um, you really can't please everybody. You'll never be able to please everybody, no matter what decision you make or what how you feel or what you think, there's gonna be somebody else who disagrees or is upset about it. And it is what it is. I, I say that you know tournament organizers should do as they see fit, and of course they they're gonna try to appease the majority. Um, but it's like you, you can't satisfy everybody no matter what you do and it's a very tough spot if you're like Rick or any other tournament organizer to be in because somebody's gonna be pissed either way if you ban the character people are like oh y'all are soft this is whack this is bullshit that's corny if you don't ban it people are like ah oh, this is this is whack that shit corny fuck this character da -da 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 -da. she's broken this is bullshit I'm saying so it's like you, you can't win for losing but um I don't know man I don't think she should be banned um I think the bigger picture is that the game is in a state right now that could use some fixing and some tidying up. Uh, obviously, the character can stand to be turned down, toned down, because uh, she's still. And even if you take, because the, the the biggest thing with the character, right, is the command grab super, the debuff super, right. Um, even if you take that super away from her entirely, like even if you just completely remove that move from the game, she's still top tier in my opinion. She's still a very strong character. And I went on record to say multiple times before, even if you take away, because th these are the qualities listed on her super, right? You have, it's a frame flip reversal. It's a command grab. It does over 2000 damage. Uh, it debuffs you by 21%. It buffs her specials by 21%. I think it buffs her supers as well, if I'm not mistaken. Not by 21%, don't quote me. I don't remember exactly, but... Even if you take away like any two of the, any two of those qualities, th that move is still really good, and she's still top tier. If you take away the super entirely, she's still top tier in my opinion. Um, so like if they nerf her, I'm not mad, I'm not upset. I'd be like, okay, cool, we get to appease the community. Like I said, the president, like people being able to whine and get things changed, isn't necessarily one that I like to a degree. Um, in terms of like just getting rid of stuff that they don't like, but it is also good to know that there might be somebody out there listening to our voices and being able to adjust the game in a way that satisfies the majority of the community uh wish we could get that type of compensation well not that we we're getting it anyway with the game right now or the character in the first place but like let, let's say 21 does get enough i'm like all right cool so y'all heard the outcry what about that rollback netcode are y'all doing anything about that you know what i'm saying any more content any more characters any more patches but yeah it, it is what it is there's there's a lot of back and forth about it i have my own thoughts I don't feel very strongly about it one way or the other for the most part, but in case you're wondering, that's kind of where I stand on things is somewhere in the middle where it's like, you know, it is what it is. Like we, we've dealt with season one, Bardock, 16 and Kid Buu, and then season two, GT Goku, UI Goku, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, Vegito. And yeah, 20, Android, Android 21 lab coat is probably the only character post season one where I'm like, she's a contender for being uh, as strong as some of the season one stuff is. Um, just because not, not not that she's doing the same things but just the tools that she has are equally as like yo what the fuck like you can do that 
uh, as stuff in season one, because like Android 16 be able to get hard knockdown anywhere on screen, Adult Gohan uh, back fist into hard knockdown anywhere on screen into like four way mix, Bardock in 16 level three, Gotenks level three, Kid Buu level three, Kid Buu mix, Cell mix, like Bardock mix, like there was there was so much crazy shit. Gotenks was, was stupid and we didn't even know it at first, and then. Yeah, there, there was a lot of crazy shit in season one that if you weren't playing the game or watching it and just weren't aware of the higher level that you don't even know the half of. Uh, and trust me, trust me, it was way stronger and way more fearsome than GT Goku was in season two and UI Goku in season three and even Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Lab Coat can kind of hang with them just because the debuff is so crazy, that super is so crazy, but yeah. Anyway, I've, I've rambled on for long enough. I'll be back with more matches and yeah. Hey, and I actually managed to find a Zeno player. Bardock? With the B assist, Broly, and UI Goku C assist, I don't really know what benefit you get. I mean, I guess UI Goku could use Bardock B assist for some mix, but then with Broly, I don't... I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, a, it's a good assist and it's a solid enough team, I just... I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really see the vision. I don't really see the vision. But, Bardock players actually aren't that common these days. I mean, he's not like the most... Or he's not like one of the most underplayed characters or anything like that, but... Uh, not as common as uh, he once was, once upon a time. Make Bardock great again? Anyway, by the way, another thing I want to talk about, actually, you know what, maybe I should focus a bit more and see what we're up against in the player that is Germ Hub before I get to talking too much. Get the deep buff off on the Bardock. Whoops. Mess up my ID. Hold on. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. He didn't super dash off that in time. I kind of fidgeted on the D-pad and managed to get hit by that 5H. We'll up tech. I'll spark right back. Oh god. Oh, I should have 2 and 4 h I wasn't thinking. You know, it's a move I have not actually been using very much. Nice pick. Oh, not that nice of a pickup. I haven't been using very much uh, in my 21 matches lately. One tag. Bum, 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 bum. Oh God! The wake up reflect into lariat. Take throw. Goodbye, Bardock. Okay. Dun, dun. Oh, that was slipping away for a second. Bring in the lab. I'm mean, not the lab cup. The, the margin twenty one. Okay, we're in. We're mostly in control of this match. Uh, UI Goku CSS hasn't come into play too much either, and by that I just mean we haven't like gotten hit by it randomly in neutral. Go for a cross up. Oh god. Oh god. I thought for sure he was gonna cross up. I guess I shouldn't have guessed on that, but. Alright, I, I I gotta stop trying to like fuzzy jump, because I'm getting caught by these five H's and these block streams. Right. Broly's normals are key blast in bowl for some re Let me stop talking. A bit of a lag spike there, but it didn't stop. It didn't make him drop his combo. Okay, twenty. What? I probably should have gone for the debuff instead, but my instincts just kicked in. And I did level three. My my instincts told me to do level three, but it's fine. Dun 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 dun. Oh shit. Oh, it's okay. He's been doing a lot of mashing on wake up, like a lot of trying to reflect the push buttons. Um it's fine. Give me that. Free jump. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cannot build the bar for the debuff. Wake up 2 and 4H. Like I said, every I, I should have seen that coming. Every single knockdown has been wake up button or wake up reflect of some kind, reversal, whatever the case may be. So I should play a bit more carefully with Trunks in 21. Fortunately, Majin 21 managed to stay alive. She was actually supposed to die a bit ago, but he ended up dropping his combo. But uh, let me let me clean it up a bit. Let me clean it up a bit. Oh my 21 assist, where are you? Again, the wake up mash. Give me that. Find the air to air. I should build the second bar, and that's game. That's game. Give me that. All right, that that was that that, that could have been cleaner for sure. There were there were a couple of sloppy moments on my end, but this guy plays a, as you would expect a UI Goku and Broly player to play, so it's fine. Um, 
we somehow managed to stay on top of things. Anyway, I wanted to mention Hyperbolic Weekly. I don't know how many of you guys have heard about it, but I want to spread the message. So you're probably going to hear me talk about it a bit more in videos. I might make a YouTube community a post about it, uh, talk about it on Twitter and things like that, talk about it on stream. But, excuse me, the Hyperbolic Weekly is a series of weekly tournaments that is currently being hosted uh, by Cloud805. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Cloud is, and backed by Van. Now, if you're a regular of my stream, you know who Van Kill is, and he is essentially sponsoring a series of weekly events over the course of the next eight weeks between, or for both West Coast and East Coast. And basically, there's going to be a series of qualifiers that are held online that not only have cash prize pools that each start at at least $300 and are on match arena, so the prize pools, you know, it, it, it can get, like for example, the, yesterday was the first one for the East Coast, today is the first one for the West Coast, um, at, by the time you're seeing this video. And, um, dun, dun, dun. Hold on. the prize pool started at $300, and I believe yesterday for the East Coast tournament, it, um, it ended at uh, over $700. It was close to $800, I believe. So, sky's the limit on the prize pool. But not only are you competing for the for the cash prize pool, you're competing for points. Because the players with the most points will qualify for the offline event that Van is going to be hosting. Um, and it, it, it's, it's going to be sick. It, they're, they're, they're big things planned. And I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what's in store for the game. And wow, what, what Van has uh, coming. So basically, I, I'm, I'm probably, I probably threw the graphic on stream. Uh, on screen for you guys uh, showing you the the um the tweet from cloud i'll probably also link it in the description down below as well as make it a pinned comments and uh yeah you guys can check that out for yourselves key blast and command grab and i let him do it boom, boom, boom. Just wanted to bring in Majin 21 because she's fully healthy. Uh, so that's fine. So yeah, um, you, you're probably going to hear me talk about that multiple times in the course of some, some videos coming soon. And I'm going to be competing in it myself, not because I expect to qualify, but for the content, of course. Um, I think these tournaments are going to be a lot more stacked and concentrated and difficult than the City of Mayhem and NLBC tournaments I've entered before. Um, but it'll just be fun videos for the channel. Jesus Christ, what a what a gorilla. What a gorilla. I think I should die for that. I did punish that properly. Um, drop it though. He did actually. Wow, I'm so generous. It's, it's so random. <laughs> All right, I, I I should lose lap coat twenty one. I probably shouldn't have tagged into her, but actually no, he didn't. His combo choice is very poor, which is fine by me because he's let me live so many times when I shouldn't have. Unless limit break gives. Okay, no. I tried to do debuff super, it didn't come out. Oh, again, my, my brain making the right call, my hands not doing the right thing. Happened to me too many times. He's about to UI Goku himself to a victory, huh? We kicked his ass all game and he's about to UI Goku himself to a victory. That was a stupid ass guard cancel. I got really impatient because I was just like, don't let this nigga just mash and be random and win. And he's about to mash and be random and win. And I think if we had won this match, yeah, we were going to demote him too. Hold on, it's not over yet. Now we're definitely going to safe jump. I mean, he's mashed and done reversals way too many times on wake up for me to want to actually go for Oki uh, and risk messing it up so and he mashed of course he did that's not enough got him got him we clutched it we managed to clutch it I, I was I was definitely letting the UI Goku walk all over me I believe that demotes him back down to great priest if I looked up the points right yeah, that's where you belong. That's where you belong, old buddy, old pal. And uh, yeah, we take things too well. We take things too well. The power of uh, Lab Coat 21 almost did not carry to me to victory. Imagine that. That was really my Majin 21 that put in the work there, especially towards the end, right? Well, she got 
slapped up in the first game, didn't she? Yeah, she did. And she was supposed to die, but didn't. And then, you know, it's, it's fine. Regardless, that's, we win too well. I'll definitely take that victory. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this with the like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned and follow this content up and I'll bring you. With all that being said, let's finish off today. But remember, nothing can happen to you. It's one of the bad. Later.